Hey guys, we are back with some more Wolfsburg Wolves franchise mode, and in this one, we're going to be facing the Calgary Flames in round one of the playoffs, so let's check out the lines. First line, of course, is Lindbergh, Monaghan, and Toulouse, pretty good if you ask me. Second line, Generous, Larkin, and Lindholm. Third line, Brodziak, Toiber, and Gutier. Fourth line, Greenway, Kupari, and Ellie. Defensively, Whitaker and Hannafin, Millman and Larson, Honka and Maloney. And in goal, they have Cullimore and Alexei Ovechkin, apparently. And scratched our Hancock, Quint, and Evans. So getting right into it here, let's see what we can do against the Calgary Flames. First period, and that'll be a goal by Elion Rodin, but Niederberger, air punk tat, Sebastian Niederberger on Cullimore. Second period, and that will be a goal by air punk tat, Yorgaho on Cullimore again, but to Lusty and Toiber. With goals on Rodine, we are down by one, headed into the third. Hopefully we can get one here. Maybe another German, Albrecht. Or maybe a goal by Ajo. And there it is, Maddox Homer. The Mr. Clutch of this team. Getting on the board for the first time in these playoffs. Power play, nothing doing. Tied at three still. Are we headed to overtime? Or do we have a last minute hero we have a last-minute hero in favor of the Calgary Flames. Sean Monahan on Rodine, and then generous with the empty net goal for a five to two, five to three Calgary Flames win. Three stars of the game: generous Toulouse and Monahan. So I thought that one was going to overtime for sure, but man, that that last that twenty-three seconds remaining dagger that was that was not good. First period. That'll be a goal by Air Punk Tet Sebastian Niederberger on Cullimore for the first goal of the game. Second period, and there it is. Maddox Homer with the goal on Cullimore. All the big guns coming out to score today and in this series in general so far. Here we go, third period. Shots are relatively even, 21 to 20. Can we do something here in this period? Toybert with the goal on Klee Kleemi. Oh, jeez. That means Rodine is likely injured because that was the first goal of the game that Calgary scored. Power play. <laughs> Toybert with another goal on Klimi. Not good. Come on, boys. Last minute hero from Wolfsburg this time. Nope, we're going to OT. All right, so you guys know my rule. No OT until at least a game four elimination or five, six, or seven. Here we go. Overtime period. What will happen? What will happen here? Come on, and that'll be a goal for Ivan Provorov on Cullimore. Let's go. Three stars of the game are Provorov, Klimi, and Toybert. So let's see. Is Rodin injured? Yeah. Bruised hip until April 30th. That's not too long from now, but we're going to have to ride. Looks like we're going to have to ride Klimi for probably the rest of the first round. That's unfortunate. So, at least Denis Papin is a 79 now. We'll call him up for sure as the backup. And Klimi, you got to be good, my man. You've got to be good. It's only April 15th. We're relying on him for at least the rest of the first round. So, we're tied at 1 in the series. So, if we could go up 2-1 here. Going back to Wolfsburg. First period. And that'll be a goal by Lindbergh on Klimi. Just the guy do we do not want to get hot. Second period. F. Hannafin and Brodziak on Klimi, but then Zanetti on Collimore. So we're still in it. It's still a pretty good game going here. As long as we can get something going early here in the third. Then I like our chances at a comeback. But as of right now, that's not happening. Calgary failed to convert on a power play, and they have another one. And they'll fail to convert on that one as well. Come on, Wolfsburg. Niederberger, air punk, tat, Sebastian Niederberger on Cullimore. Come on, one more, one more, one more. One more on Cullimore. Nah, not happening. Three to two victory for the Calgary Flames. That'll put them up two to one in the series. Three stars of the games in Netty, Brodziak, and Cullimore. Cullimore has been very good. We, we need something in our favor right now because it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot, unfortunately. Of course, our, our big guys, Niederberger, Ajo, Homer have scored. But not much beyond that, and uh, we our main goaltender has been injured as well. So, we're really hoping for something here in game number four. First period, there it is, a goal by Todd Mayer, the takeaway master on Cullimore. Second period, that'll be a goal by Airbug Tet, Sebastian Niederberger on Cullimore. We're up by two now, going into the third. Don't joke. 
It's as simple as that. Power plays for Van, uh, for uh, Vancouver. I just got done with the uh, Vancouver series with with Edmonton, but Calgary gets on the board on a goal by Hannafin on Klemy. Power play again for Calgary. Goes nowhere. Four minutes remaining in the third, and that'll be a goal by Lindbergh. No. No way. So, game four. We're not in an elimination game four, so we're not going to be watching this overtime, but man. <laughs> Come on. We need this game. We need this game. We need this game. Please, Wolfsburg. Please, Wolfsburg. We're out shooting them like crazy, and we score on a goal by Braden Point from the point. Who else? Mr. Pun City right there. Three stars of the game. Klemy, Point, and Niederberger. And we're tied 2-2. And Tim Bohinski injured with back spasms until April 30th. You, you hate to see it. So Lindholm. Get up there with Provorov. And then with Ludman will be Jet Wu. And game number five. Back in the saddle dome. Let's see what we can do. First period. That'll be a goal by Airpunk Tet Jorg Aho. The German coming through in the clutch. Second period. Nothing doing. I'll take it. 21 shots to 25 in favor of Calgary. And if we could get one more, that'd be great. Power play, nothing doing. All right. Come on now, Wolfsburg. There you go. Todd Mayer on Cullimore. And we're up 2-0 in the game. Have potential to go up 3-2 in the series. Come on. Five minutes remaining. Hold this lead. Hold this lead. And air punk Tat Yorgaho on Ovechkin. Alexei Ovechkin in the net now. Monahan with the goal for... Calgary, but it was too little too late. We win 3-1, and we're up 3-2 in the series. Very nice. Three stars of the game. Klemy, Mayer, and Airpunk Tet Yorgaho. And game number six. At home, we have the potential to continue our streak of not being eliminated in the first round ever. First period. Nothing, nothing. Shots at 13-10. to 10. I'll take it in the second period. And that'll be a goal by Whitaker and Monahan on Klemy, but Aho, Airpunk Tet on Cullimore. Come on, boys. Third period. Do something huge in this third period. Come on now. About a quarter of the way through. Calgary with a power play. Nothing doing. Very nice kill. Very nice. Power play. Power play. Do something here. Nope. Nothing. And Toybert with the goal on Klemy. Come on. Five minutes. Less than five minutes remaining. Can we make a huge comeback in the last minutes? Nah. Toulouse with the empty netter. And we're going to seven. Three stars of the game, Monaghan, Toybert, and Colomore. Yeah, Colomore's been great. Colomore has been great. Well, there's not much I can do. It, this series has been relatively even. We just we have to hope the simulation goes into our favor and hope that we can continue our streak of not being eliminated in the first round. If this, if this is the first time we're eliminated in the first round, that would be kind of disappointing, especially with the expectations that this team has year after year. First period, there you go, I'll take it. Zanetti and Homer on Cullimore and Talusti on Klimi. Second period, nothing doing. Yes, boys, come on. Uh, game number seven, third period. Now, I, ju I just did a third period in uh, <laughs> in the Oilers GM mode. We'll go into it if it becomes an overtime, but let's hope that's not the case because we're the ones up here. Go into the third period. Come on, Wolfsburg. Power play for Calgary, nothing doing. And Greenway with the goal <laughs> on Klemy. Another power play for Calgary. Come on. No, 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 no. Thank goodness. And Albrecht, air punk tent. Matthias Albrecht on Cullimore. Five minutes remaining. Can we hold on? Do we hold on? Yes. And the streak continues. We're moving off to round number two once again. Three stars of the game. Greenway, Albrecht, and Zanetti. There you go. Depth coming through in the clutch in that game number seven. And obviously everybody else was pretty good too. Takeaway master Todd Mayer with nine points. Aho with eight. Niederberger and Homer with six. Jones with four. Zanetti with three. Point, Goddard, Albrecht, Weiss, all with two. Provrov, Bohinski, Ludman, Beck, Kulishov, Stahlberg, all with one. Jost and McLeod didn't play. Wu, Lindholm, Hansik with nothing. And goaltenders, Klemy with a 924 save percentage in six games. So he did very well, replacing Kelly Rodin due to injury. And Rodin at an 878 in two games. So maybe it's. Maybe it was a blessing in disguise that Rodin got injured because he wasn't doing too hot in those first couple of games. Klemy definitely 
took the reins and ran with them. I don't know if that's a phrase, but it is now. And yeah, just overall solid series. Could have gone better, obviously. We, we went to seven, but all that matters is we came out on top in the end. And goals for per game. Where are we? We are at a 2.57 goals against per game. We were at a 2.71. So the Flames actually scored more goals than us, but we still won the series. Uh, power play needs to be better. Yeah, power play needs to be better. On 32 opportunities, only three goals, a 9.4 power play. That's a yikes. Penalty kill, the penalty kill was pretty good. 87.5, 24 opportunities, only three power play goals against. But we've got to convert on those power play opportunities, man. That <laughs> If we had maybe two or three more power play goals, we could have ended that before game seven. I'm going to say. We definitely could have. But it's all in the past now. We're going to see who we have in round number two. And it looks like it's going to be the Anaheim Ducks. And yes, indeed. So we will check out the Anaheim Ducks. And then we'll end things off. So the first line, Sean Conacher, Ricard Raquel, and Brian Dundas. Second line, Christian Veselainen, Antoine Morand, and Magnus Pressburg. Third line, Billy Legwand, Sam Steele, and Josh Hosang. Fourth line, Raymond Smith-Pelly, Jesper Boquist, and Sasha Mutala. On defense, you have Dalton Webb and Yuso Valimaki. Henry Yokiharyu and Brandon Montour on the second pair. And then Dalin with Roslovich. So, oh, Oh, two forwards on the point. They must have some injuries. They must have some injuries. Two forwards on defense. My goodness. And then Yoka Aryu and, and Montour on the second pair of 79 overalls. My goodness. Who they have in net? They have Kai Gordov and Huso. 82 and 81. So very interesting team here. Yeah, I knew they had some injuries. and But they're not even huge injuries either. Gage Festerini, 80 overall, and Barry Gerby, 79. And then Radoslav Malik, the scratched forward. So, yeah. Uh, pretty interesting team here. Should be an interesting second round matchup. But for right now, we're going to end things off. And your Elite Eight are the Blue Jackets, the Capitals, the Panthers, the Habs, the Oilers, the Blackhawks, the Ducks, and your Wolfsburg Wolves. So I'll see you guys in the next one when we face off against the Anaheim Ducks in round number two. See you guys then.